one minute till crash landing, please remain seated and keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Here we go. Everyone hold on. Morning, October 31st. Hobart was overclocking all of his cores in a desperate maneuver to slow the Skeld's red-hot descent. The only thing that the others could do was hang on for dear life as Earth's atmosphere gave its best attempt to immolate the ship. Hobart, where are we gonna crash? Attempting to reach target destination, Fairgrounds. And how's the attempt going? Could be better. I shall use my unholy powers to draw us closer. Great, thanks. Brace for crash landing in T minus five, four, three, two, one, impact. Oh, I never thought I'd be this happy to be back on Earth. Woodman. Is that all of the cursed? All three, safe and sound. Well, more or less. Uh... Arrived one kilometer from destination. How lucky is that? Ha <laughs> ha! It wasn't luck! Oh, give it a rest. Oh, that was, that was terrible. I, I feel awful. Wait, you're still alive? Uh, of course I am! What, do you think I'm, do you think I'm weak that I have brittle bones? I've survived more than ten men could in their lifetime, all right? All right, sure, dude. Well, well, look at the city slickers pulling up in their not-so-fancy spaceship. Looks like they didn't fly so good. What are you two doing here? It was our last assignment from the Fallen Angel. She was going to do the ritual here with all the cursed, where she tap into their dark power and become the ultimate cosmic being or something. Plus, we got a show here in half an hour. We sold tickets to all our fans! You have fans? Well, he has fans. I have followers. Well, too bad and so sad about your big ritual plans. We got everyone you were after right here. And we're about to... What were we going to do with them again? I don't think we ever figured that out. All right, whatever. Either way... Sucks for you. <sighs> no need to rub it in. She's not going to be paying us now, I can just tell. And all of the food you brought is going to go to waste. Uh, don't remind me. Food? What? You want some? It has been quite some time since we ate a filling meal. Well, I got some burgers here. You can help yourselves. No, oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, Krusty Burger Stream. Oh, Pog. Oh, this is, oh, this is a special day. Let's go. You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have over at Krusty Burger. Uh, yeah. Where did you think I got them? <sighs> that was filling. Almost too filling. I feel very, oh, I know. What? I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Mm. Takane! You clowns poisoned her. And... Uh, I guess not just her. Poisoned? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, that was our plan all along. Oh, oh, oh. delightfully devilish, Krusty. Uh, Johanne, you still seem fine. <laughs> it turned out I wasn't hungry after all. Enjoy your sleep. You have to stop them. And why would I ever do that? They've been helping me the whole time. Well, not as much as you have. Mother fa. Oh, I, I'm sick to my stomach right now. Ooh, ooh. Unhealthy food, like substances detected. Danger, safety has. Too late, little mixer. Hm, you did your job well, though leading us to all the cursed, and freeing my clowns to focus on preparing the ritual. Wait, it's you! Of course it is! Now tie up these fools, then take the curse to the stage. We have work to do. The angels painted fools did their work to the letter, binding our incapacitated heroes backstage 
and laying out the ritual preparations on stage. As the sun fell inexorably below the horizon and the sky darkened, the crowd began to filter in. At last, it was time for the night's events to begin, and the angel's infernal ritual to unfold. <laughs> hey, kids! Welcome to a very special episode of the Krusty the Clown Show! Now, I know you're all used to the charming antics of Sideshow Mel, but today I brought on a special guest instead. Everyone say hello to my good friend, the Joker! I told you to introduce me as just Joker! Whatever. Anyway, I hope you find people are ready for a great show tonight! There'll be lots of laughs as usual, an unforgettable performance from Joker here, and in a first for the show, as the grand finale, an unholy arcane ritual that'll be sure to bring you all to your knees! I mean, uh, to your feet. <laughs> Oh, hey, Takane. You can get that duct tape off if you move your lips around enough. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, that's better. But what, man? What happened? Those crusty burgers gave us food poisoning. Oh, and Johannes the fallen angel and she has the curse and is probably about to do her dumb ritual now. I still can't believe all that stuff ended up being real. The fallen angel was Johanne all along? Guess so. To be fair, she has been calling herself that this whole time. I guess we should have believed her. Yes. You should've. <gasps> you! I am the true fallen angel. But I am not the one up on that stage. You're expecting us to believe anything you say? Yeah, I, uh, found her tied up in the bathroom at Burger King. It was kind of, er, uh, awkward sauce. Oh, Big Chungus. I didn't see you there. I guess she must be legit then. I'd still be in there if it weren't for him. That false angel ambushed me in there. And if that wasn't bad enough, she also stole my appearance. Huh. If I had a nickel for every time you've been impersonated this week, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's still weird that it's happened twice. Let's get you out of those ropes. Good day, mate. Welcome to new Hobart XL OLED edition. Damn. His memory's been wiped and he's forgotten us. Negative. I'd just like to introduce myself. We'll catch you up later, Hobart. But right now, there's no time. We have to stop the ritual. Hey! Hey, aren't you- aren't you forgetting someone? Help- help me! I- I want to come too! Now, it's time for the centerpiece of tonight's performance! It's gonna be a real showstopper! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, folks. Please welcome to the stage the star of the show! She's thousands of years old, but doesn't look a day over 32. Give it up for... The Fallen Angel! That's her. Come on. Thank you all for coming. Tonight, you will witness the world descend alongside me. I will reshape creation as I see fit. And all shall hear my voice without end. Enjoy the show, for I will need your energy to do what I set out to do tonight. And that's no metaphor, folks. Yeah. Now bear witness, as I claim- kind of Not so fast. Oh, you again. That's right, bitch. How did you escape? It was me, Johanne, the real one. And me, the big Chunga. I thought I told you fools to tie them up tight. We did, with my famous trick streamers. It's... Hold on, before anything else, I want to know. You're not Johanne, so who are you really? <laughs> I can't even lie. Detected Immortal Cosmic Sheila, alias Lady. You two, keep them off the stage while I get to work. 
Time to show you why we're called Fighting Clown Crew. We'll put you further underwater than my second mortgage. All right. Time to bust some clown heads. Calculated odds have victory. 49.5%. Wait, why do we have to do this? Uh, because she just told them to fight us? Well, why should they listen to anything she says? We explained this to you literally two days ago. But you're seriously going to put your life on the line over some rips? Oh, I don't think our lives are at any risk from you. <laughs> Besides, this is my chance to prove that I am the most terrifying supervillain in the universe. Really? Well, I think the uh, Riddler is more terrifying than you. The Riddler? Uh, that unstylish geek has nothing on me. But riddles are much more intellectual than jokes. Then you must not have heard my best material. That's why I'm doing this in the first place. She said she was going to make sure not a single soul misses out on my jokes. I don't think the Riddler would simp over American hip-hop and dirty rap artists, ladies. A simp? Uh, you can't... I'm, I'm not... Gamer never simps over anyone. That's it. I can't do this anymore. I'm done working for that washed-up old hag. Joker. What are you doing? We signed a contract! I'll give you 30 bucks to help us. It's a deal! It's in gift cards, by the way. Still a deal! With the fighting clown crew turned to their side, our heroes finally made their way to center stage to confront their infernal foe, now known to them as Lady. But they were dismayed to find the ritual already well underway. Feel the power of the curse surging through my veins. It's over, lady. Nah, I think it's only just begun. You next, I'll be unstuck. And then, the world will be yanking for all of eternity. He is a saint. <gasps> oh. Can't you clowns do something about this? Oh, this is so out of my ballpark. Oh, what do I look like? A big guy? I see you two betrayed me. <laughs> Fine by me. I wasn't going to give you any rips anyway. <laughs> I should have listened when they said there's no money in the apocalypse business. We need to do something before she finishes the ritual. It's no use. She's too powerful already. We'll never get to her in time. If only one of us could use the power of the curse ourselves, then we'd actually stand a chance. Don't look at me. What is it, Hobart? Wait a minute. You've been detecting the curse for us this whole time. That must mean he's sensitive to their dark energy. If he can sense the cursed, he can use their dark power. Affirmative new Hobart XL OLED edition comes equipped with mystical mixing mode. Well, engage that mode! Or whatever. Now gathering energy from nearby power sources. We need to distract her while the machine gathers power. I've got this! Hey, lady! You want to know how I got these scars? I don't give a rat's ass! Well, my father was a... Uh, wait, what did you say? Hold on, let me do it. Hey, ever heard the one about the... Uh, okay, you've heard that one, I get it. Cursed power sources fully connected. Mixing sequence initiated. How long until you can fight back? Estimated time is 15 seconds. What are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. Wait, something sapping power from the ritual. I can feel it. I think you're just imagining things. It doesn't gaslight me. I think she's onto us. But she's a second too late. Power-up sequence completed. You have now upgraded to new Hobart XL OLED Edition. Plus... What's happening? What have y'all done to my ritual? Estimated time to ritual completion. No. Banishment sequence initiated. No! No! Thank you for using Hobart. Crusty the Cloud Show original. And for the kids watching tonight, 
The moral of the story is, uh, don't sign contracts with weird demon ladies. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Damn it. I knew I should have charged more for tickets. Hobart, you did it! Hobart tip of the day. No meal is complete without a balanced mix of ingredients. I think he's trying to say he couldn't have done it without us. Oh, thanks, Hobart. Hey, enough of that sappy stuff. But, <laughs> thanks, big guy. All right, we've only got this place booked for another five minutes. So time for our curtain call. Give it up for tonight's supporting performances. And your host, Fighting Clown Club. And me. The Big Chungus. Ah, oh, shucks, guys. What do you say we go outside and dance to my iconic 2019 parody of the hit pop song Gavana called Big Chungus Una Na? See you later, guys. Farewell, Big Chungus. I'll miss you. Well, we did it. We saved... Halloween, I think? I guess so. If only it were this easy for Christmas. Well, what now? Wanna come to Gotham with me? We can go TP the Batcave. <laughs> I'll pass. Huh? I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> then let's be going! <laughs> Well, I escaped. No, no thanks to you people. I had to, I had to bite my way out of that rope. Oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't see you back there, or something. Oh, it's, it, it's fine. As, as long as one of you can treat my, uh, my, my inter- Wait, next game? Chat, are you, are you kidding me right now? Next game? I'm in the middle of, I, I, there is damage sustained to my org. Fine, okay? All right, I I'll be going now, I guess. See ya. Yeah, no, just stop. No pogs for circulation issues. Are you okay? sure we should leave him alone? Cool. He seems a bit unstable. I'm sure that he'll be fine, relatively speaking. Well, I guess I'll call the wood van to take us home. You know, we can still make it in time for trick-or-treating. Oh, oh, count me in. I've got a great cowboy getup I stole from the movie set. I meant giving candy to trick-or-treaters. Oh, uh, then yeah, me too. Candy ball mode, ready to engage. I suppose I'll need a ride back as well. I'd be happy to join the three of you for the evening, if that's all right. Of course you can join us. But you're still riding in the truck. And so our heroes overcame the cursed thwarted the fallen angel's nefarious plan, and learned the true meaning of Halloween, I guess? Whatever that is. Anyway, so ends the tale of the fallen angel's curse. And just in time for Halloween night. That reminds me, I have a costume party to get to. I'm going as a sexy narrator. Well... <laughs> Later.